All right, so this is how you use chains in Fluent. So we've got our object here, and uh, let's move it off the grid center. And let's uh, let's add a, a circle. We'll go to curve, circle, add a circle, tab into edit mode, and we're going to scale it down. And we're also going to um, we're going to scale it on the X. So we want it to kind of face longwise on the Y. So we're going to scale it on the X. Uh, that looks pretty much like a chain. And we're going to rotate it on the X 90 degrees. Because when you make your chain, you want it to have it go in the direction of the Z. You want it to uh, go into Z, because anytime you make a chain, uh, that's that's the path it's going to follow. Okay, so we got it facing up now. And let's come over, let's tab back in object mode, and with it still selected, come over to your uh, curve uh, properties window here, go to geometry, and select your bevel depth. And it looks kind of like a chain link. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, tab back in edit mode, and it's not real critical what procedure you use on this. You can you can bevel it later. So let's uh, shift D, duplicate it, hit enter, rotate on the Z axis 90 degrees, and then let's grab it on the Z axis. So bring it kind of like right to where it should be and tab out. And now um, I like to set the origin to the geometry. That puts the origin right in the middle there. And now that we've got our chain link, let's go back into edit mode. You want to do this in edit mode. Select all and scale it down a little bit. And that's not working how I want it to. Okay. Let's just scale it in object mode. I, I think it'd be fine. And uh, okay. So now we've got our chain link. Now we can come over here and we can uh, oh, let's bring it closer because you, you kind of want it close to where you're going to click. If you get it too far out there and la la land it won't pick it up. Let's grab it on the X. Grab it on the Y. All right, that's close enough. Now we go into uh, Fluent. Oh, excuse me. Alt A, unselect everything, select the cube, and then we go into the Fluent menu. Go to Wire and pick where you want it to start, where you want it to stop, and now we're going to click, left click, and we're going to add your design. And then you come over here and you click on it. And it didn't pick it up. Add your design. Oh, I forgot something. Never mind. Um, right click to get out of it. Okay, let's let's X that wire. And come over here and just uh, delete your hierarchy where it says wire objects. So we start with uh, a clean thing. I forgot uh, it doesn't uh, make cables, wires out of uh, curve mod, uh, curve objects. So you got to go over here to object and you've got to convert it to mesh. Okay. So now when you go in to edit mode, you can see it's a mesh and it's a pretty high uh, vertex count. So you may want to go to edges and unsub unsubdivide once just to kind of lighten up your vertex count a little bit tab back out into object mode come back over here to your cube or whatever you're going to put your wire on and let's uh, go to fluent wire start position end position left click to go to add your design come over here and pick it up and there we have it now we want to adjust our design and we're going to uh, slide the mouse to make the gap 
right? And let's see. Let's adjust that a little more. Adjust your design. There's the gap. Okay. Now I'm going to type. Now I haven't left clicked yet, but I'm going to hit C. And I'm going to adjust the size. And if you notice, it kind of gaps over into the middle. That's okay. Because when you left click to uh, validate that, it's going to go out all the way to the curve. Now, if you want to simulate this, you would go to simulation and it's going to say, well, how far do you want the root to be stiffened? And I found on a, on a Mac, I use a Mac, I use a command plus. I think the, uh, the directions call for control plus, but on the Mac, I, I found command plus brings these uh, pinned uh, vertices out. And then uh, now you hit enter. And it swings, it does its simulation. And after about 100 frames, there will be your chain right there where you wanted it. And then right click and then to get out of it. And uh, let's say you want to adjust it. So we're going to click F, edit, and we're going to uh, adjust our design. Okay, right click. Let's select a chain. Let's try that. Edit. We're going to adjust our design. And yeah, I think after you, after you do the simulation, that's what I found. Um, I wasn't sure that it was going to work. But after you do the simulation, you can no longer adjust your design. You need to adjust your design be, before. And then uh, if you don't want this to show up in your renders, you can just hide it. The best way to do that is come over here to your filters, uh, click your render camera right here, and now you're, you can uh, change that to not render, and that's to not see it in the viewport. You can see it in the viewport, but if this isn't selected, it won't render. So anyway, that is that. Hope that helps.